What's going on, Hancock County? Mitch Gibson here with the Inside Hancock County Podcast. Before we get today's show started, I wanted to let you guys know of an amazing community event coming to Greenfield on August 4th. Today's show is sponsored by A Fast Seat for Our Heroes, an event sponsored by HRM, Insurance Services, and the IndyCar Experience. A Fast Seat for Our Heroes is an event to celebrate, support, and honor our first responders in the Hancock County community. On August 4th, 2020, at 10 a.m. in front of Greenfield Fire Station 21 on South Street, Mayor Chuck Fuel, Terry Stacy from 93.1 WIBC, and partner and owner of IndyCar Experience, Scott Jasek, will host a drawing for 35 first responders and nurses who will take a high-speed two-seater ride around the infamous Indianapolis Motor Speedway on August 18th. The Indianapolis 500 Gordon Pipers will be in attendance for entertainment that morning, along with IndyCar drivers, including Gabby Chavez, to host a quick Q&A, along with helping us draw the winners for our high-speed two-seater rides on August 18th. One lucky audience member will be selected to take a high-speed two-seater ride as well, so we hope you all can join. Masks are required, lawn chairs are welcome, and we hope we, get, we can get the community to rally around to support and honor and really show these true heroes how much we thank them for their hard work and dedication, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. Hope you all enjoy the show. Let's dive in, and always remember, you can make a difference. Bringing another episode of Inside Hancock County. Uh, I'm excited about this one. Not only was he a, a coach of mine, uh, but someone who, when my when I first transferred to Greenfield, kind of took me took me under his wing and uh, tried to teach me how to play basketball. And you know, you can't teach someone to play basketball very well when they're not good at all to begin with. <laughs> uh, but current athletic director at Greenfield Central High School, Jared Main, joins the show. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Can't complain. Feels good to at least have some type of reality back. I know with you guys, school uh, came to a you know screeching halt and trying to make adjustments and uh, hopefully the foreseeable future for you guys is is coming and uh, and whatnot. But how how's the coronavirus and the pandemic treated you and your family and uh, how have you adjusted to it? Well, I'll tell you what, it's uh, that, that Friday the 13th was a bit of a rough day. Uh, you know, we were getting prepared to, to host a 2A regional basketball tournament and we had already had one of the four teams into practice and uh, to get the to get the call that we were shut down and, and we were closing school and basketball tournament was going to be canceled and all of that it was kind of a surreal uh, situation, you know, having to deal with that. And, you know, then you talk about spring sports getting, getting started and, you know, baseball was supposed to start within the next week, week and a half. And uh, you, you just hope that we just hope that there, there was going to be, uh, you know, kind of a lull where we were just going to take a few days off clean the facilities and then get back at it and and that wasn't the case and and we're looking for her and uh, we're putting plans in place to come back July 6th so um looking forward to it looking forward to getting our student athletes back on campus our coaches back and and those types of things as far as me uh you know personally uh, I know you you're probably in the same boat with with little ones at home uh having that extra time and it, it I wouldn't give it back I'll tell you that um, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting transition back to, back to reality and back to work because uh, we've been, we've been blessed these last four, four months. Absolutely. Now bring it into the family and kind of, you know, who Jared Manning is, who Jared Manning is and where he came from, kind of give us a flashback of, uh, you know, where you came from, what led you to Greenfield, you know, and give us a little background about your family and uh, your guys' current situation as, as Greenfield residents. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how far back you want me to go, but I'll just start with when we moved to move to Greenfield. Um, my dad's a, was a Methodist minister. He, he re, he's retired uh, since, I don't know, well, it was a couple years ago, but um, so we moved every about four or five years. And uh, so we moved here just before my sophomore year of high school. Um, it was tough uh, coming from a small community in Southern Indiana. Uh, I was a student at Heritage Hills High School, um, big sports tradition there. Um, and not knowing anything about the the Indy uh, East Side area and and what all uh, was going to come with that, it was it was pretty pretty nerve wracking for a, a 15 year old kid. Um, and so you know adjustment. Uh, I was a three sport athlete here at Greenfield Central: uh, soccer, basketball, baseball. Uh, I will tell anybody that I wasn't good at any of them. Um, I was a very average student athlete. Um, but man, I, I learned a lot of lessons through through athletics. Uh, I, I will say that, uh, and I think that that we have a an awesome platform to teach kids a lot of good things. 
things, um, and our coaches do that. So, uh, you know, graduate from here in 1999. Uh, I go to Franklin College to play a couple years of, of soccer down there. Um, decided, you know, I wasn't going to be a professional soccer player and uh, transferred to Purdue University uh, where my uh, girlfriend was at at the time. Uh, it all worked out because, uh, you know, three years later we got married. So, um, you know, it was a pretty good move on my part, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been married since uh, 2004 and, um, you know, pretty, pretty happy with that and pretty blessed to have her uh, doing this uh, journey alongside me. So um, April is, is, was also a 99 graduate student athlete. Um, she went to Purdue as well, graduated a year before me. Uh, we got married in 2004. Um, you know, in that whole process, uh, you know, I graduated with a, a degree, uh, a teaching degree um, for PE and health. Um, I was looking for jobs around the Lafayette area because she was employed at Eli Lilly up there. And so we had planned on, on staying in the area. And, um, you know, the week before our wedding, I, I just on a whim kind of took an interview at uh, Greenfield Intermediate School, which was Greenfield Middle School back then. Uh, with Jim Beaver, um, and uh, you know, I I went to that interview going, I don't know how we can make this work. We're living in in Lafayette. Um, long story short, uh, we figure it out. I take the job um, like the day before we get married. Um, I, I'm walking into uh, our rehearsal and had just taken a taken a job, and we didn't know where we were going to live, and uh, so we're trying to figure all that stuff out on the on the cruise that we went on for our honeymoon and. Um, you know, kind of it's just been a blessing ever since, you know, we made the decision to, for me to take this job. And um, since then, we lived in Zionsville for, for a couple of years. We moved to Greenfield. We lived in town for a few years, um, had moved out of town to get a little closer to, to downtown Indy for, for April's work. And um, just recently, uh, this past November, we moved back into town. We live uh, just off of, of Morristown Pike and um, are really blessed to be back in the community and you know have our kids go to school through Greenfield and um, that was never going to be a never going to be a question they were always going to come here because um, we have such deep roots and, and we love the, the community and the school corporation. Absolutely now going back to you know maybe uh, obviously you know you you coached me a little bit in basketball um, and like I said, let me reiterate, I wasn't very good. I think I might have set one of the state records for turnovers in a game, maybe. That, that, that's, that always gets talked about. Um, <laughs> something I'll accept. Something I'll accept. But um, Yeah, you know, it is what it is, man. Going back to your coaching career, um, you know, for a brief second, and then going back to maybe your high school and college career as an athlete, um, you know, we, we all find those coaches we connect with. I know, I know I've got that personal connection with you. Um, some baseball coaches that taught me growing up with, you know, even my dad, that you just, you know, when you surround yourself around people in the sports world, the life lessons you learn and the motivation that they give you to not just push forward to be a better athlete, but also a better person or have those life goals. Was there that specific coach or coaches um, or mentor that, you know, helped push you down that athletic, you know, path, which led you to your spot where you're in as, you know, where you're at as a coach, both on the basketball side and soccer? then to the athletic department side as the, as the AD. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's a good question. Um, and it's one of those that, a situation where I don't know that I had a lot of different coaches. I had a lot of different coaches that, that approached coaching differently and connecting with kids differently. Um, you know, as a, as an athlete, I kind of had the mentality that it wasn't, you could say just pretty much anything to me. Um, I was going to motivate myself. And so it didn't matter how you, how you talked to me, um, whether you were yelling at me or, or you brought me aside and were, were just chit chatting with me um, because I was going to motivate myself. I mean, it, and, and I was going to try to take every, every piece of information you gave me and try to make myself better. Um, you know, so to, to narrow it down just to one, uh, that'd, that'd be really tough. Um, but I, I think I, I took a little bit from each coach that I had um, you know, for, whether it be uh, Tom Ferguson at, at, with soccer or uh, John Hamilton uh, with baseball or Scott Miller or, or John Hamilton with basketball and Scott Miller with baseball. Um, you know, I had some really good coaches. Uh, they all three went about it completely different. Um, you know, they all had their times where they were, they were yelling at you and trying to motivate you that way. But a couple of them had the, 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 
mentality of bringing you, bringing you over and just kind of really talking to you individually. And, um, you know, so I, I think I learned something from each one of those. Um, you know, I've also been around a lot of people in athletics that, that just are great people. Um, you know, from my coaching days uh, and the different coaching staffs that I was on, um, you know, I took a lot of lessons from a lot of different people. Um, I've always been a sports guy. I always will be. Um, this the last four months has been been tough not being able to turn on TV and see uh, some live sports. Um, we've obviously made it through it, but, man, it's it's been, uh, you know, I don't think I could go – and tell somebody my story without mentioning, you know, the, the athletic side of it and how, how I've learned so much through athletics and, and participating on teams and, and those type of things. So um, I think that's the, the biggest thing is, you know, I, I, I would challenge anybody to, no matter who your coach is, um, there's got to be something there, uh, whether right, wrong, or indifferent, uh, that you learn from. Whether you learn not to do it that way or you learn how to do it, the right way or whatever, um, there's always a lesson you can learn through uh, being on a team and, and being in a, in a sport. Thoroughly agree. I uh, 100% agree. And, and I know there's things that I take away day to day, um, you know, that I've learned through athletics and sports that I use in my day to day life. I mean, you know, now, now knowing and gaining a relationship with guys like you or, you know, my college coach or, um, you know, Josiah Sears, who I never even knew, but connected with on, you know, a couple episodes ago. Um, you know, learning how athletics can bring people together, you know, that they may never even known, but the connections and the relationships and, you know, the, yeah. you know, having the knowledge to have a conversation with you about your career. I mean, that's, that to me, you know, means a lot that I've gained that relationship with a coach that I can have that personal conversation with. All right. So, you know, going from playing, being as an athlete to a coach, you know, teacher to then, you know, putting yourself in a position to, you know, take a, take a role as an athletic director with the time constraints and, and, and the time it takes to become, you know, not just an athletic but a really good one and a successful one for a bigger school. Um, at what point in your mind were like, okay, I'm going to take this leap of faith in this job when it's there and, and put my full fledged effort into it. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, shortly after um, starting my teaching career, uh, I started taking master's classes to get my master's in education uh, and, and administration. Um, and so my first thought was, you know, do I want to be a principal? Do I want to be an assistant principal? Um, do I want to be an AD? Um, you know, my kind of my, my coaching background, I coached three sports um, for several years, junior high basketball, um, a little bit of soccer, um, and, uh, and then baseball. And so, you know, I, I put in a lot of hours uh, away from my family uh, and, and done a lot of that, that kind of stuff. Um, I guess the, the real big thing for me was um, having a lot of people that in the athletic department that um, really kind of set the standard for what, I mean, what I would expect and what I, what I got to see, you know, um, as a student athlete, Becky Freeman was our, was our AD, but Pat Ludwig is one of the assistants and I had Pat in, in class, Mr. Ludwig. Um, it's weird. It's really weird to call him Pat, but uh, right. Mr. Ludwig in class and, you know, just the passion that he attacked things with and, and um, just the, the personality that he had, um, you know, Mrs. Freeman and everything that she did uh, for us as student athletes. Uh, and then growing into, you know, watching Mr. Bryant and, and Kevin Horrigan and how they interacted and how they uh, built an athletic program and, and seeing that. And, um, you know, one of the opportunities that I got early on in my coaching career was, you know, when Kevin um, uh, would go to to the National ADs Conference. Um, he would on occasion ask people to, to kind of take over for him while he was gone. Um, and it was one of those opportunities that I got to, to you know, be there on a, on a Friday, Saturday night um, to oversee a basketball game and, and see the behind the scenes type stuff that really kind of got me interested in being um, an AD. Because I'll be honest with you, coaches, parents, student athletes, um, you, you think you know what happens when an event but there's just so much that that happens behind the scenes that um it, it's just a lot and so without that experience you just really don't know uh for sure what's what's happening and so uh, I was pretty fortunate in that uh, and so once I got through my administration um and got my my admin classes and and got my master's um you know I tried to I interviewed for a couple positions within the district um 
uh, as far as assistant principal pieces go. Um, and, I, and I will tell you that I was frustrated uh, through that entire process by not getting any of those. Um, but as you and I know, there, there's a bigger plan. And uh, I was very, very fortunate um, to, to get the job uh, as the AD um, at Greenfield Central. I, it's it's a, one of my dream jobs. It's, it's, uh, I have zero interest uh, in going anywhere else. Um, and I've told everybody that. Uh, I, don't, I don't see um, other opportunities uh, out there. Uh, this is it. Uh, and this is where I want to be. And, and this is where I want to continue to be. And, and I hope that that lasts for, for quite a while. Right. No, I think too. And in my eyes, there's not a there's not a better guy in, in, in the in the situation that you are to, to put forth the effort as that you know in, in that role. Uh, one, you're passionate about sports. You've been there. You've played them. Uh, you've seen. You've grew up in the Greenfield you know community as far as learning, knowing you know coaches and sporting events and knowing how they ran. And, and maybe there's some flaws that may have happened previously. Nobody's perfect. That that you can take with you and one help grow the organization and, and grow the the team and the athletic department uh, and to see some of the things that are going on there, you know, even, even with the facilities, um, you know, me knowing, you know, attraction to yeah. uh, schools is one facility. I mean, you're, you're going to, you're going to attract, you know, the facility people that want to come and use those facilities and go to school because of the way that the teachers and the administrative right. administration is, and you guys are really doing a great job of that. Football field looks beautiful. Um, your guys' newest addition to the weight room um, on the on the I think what the east side or west side of the the, the pavilion. Uh, kind of give us a little bit of background. On that that's 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 looks like it's coming pretty close to uh, uh, to its ends there. Uh, what's the what's the next steps on that uh, new project they're going on the uh, just just in between the football and the field house? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But I want to I want to just say that I appreciate you saying those nice things about what we're trying to accomplish and, and it's good to, that people see that um, because we are trying hard to um, to do things the right way and, and there's some things that are going to be coming um, that we're excited about um, obviously uh, the updates um, man we can't be we can't be any more excited uh, about that you know we started with the with the football field and the turf and um, you know people on the outside look at it and go well that's just for football well all of our other programs have been affected by that in a positive way. And so um, we're excited about that. We're doing another piece. Uh, thank, thankful for our school corporation, our, our school board, um, our central office staff, because they see the vision, they have the vision um, to make this thing really, really start growing and, and rolling. Um, you know, our, we're adding a, a 6,000 square foot uh, weight room, uh, which was desperately needed. I mean, you remember the days of our cramped, uh, tiny, uh, weight room, even though weight I never facility. lived um, so it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, me either but um, you know so 6,000 square foot facility uh, brand new athletic training room um, two brand new locker rooms uh, on that uh, on that side of the building um, it's going to be state-of-the-art it's going to be awesome um, we're looking forward to it uh, we're going to have occupancy uh, partial occupancy of that facility, uh, the training room and the weight room, um, about the second week of July is kind of what we're looking at right now. It was gonna, it was gonna be uh, August first, but with the shutdown, they were able to to move some things around and um, got some things pushed up for us. And so, uh, you know, athletically, uh, you know, we couldn't be more happy with the facilities that that we're that we've got and what we're getting. Um, Obviously, uh, you know, we continue to, to push for more updates and, and our school corporation and our school board has been uh, more than gracious uh, in support of that um, and our community as well. So we appreciate that and, and we look forward to more changes as, as the years come. Absolutely. Now going into, you know, obviously summer's coming to a close very soon. School year's starting to come up and, and, and get going again. Um, you know, obviously lots of change. Uh, I know things are probably changing daily on, on what, what – people can expect you may not have a ton of insight as far as you know obviously the pieces are still trying to be put together on the puzzle uh but but what can what can you know community or, or greenfield central uh, area community expect uh come uh the beginning of school year as far as athletic purposes go um and where where the current sports um the, the, the current sports and fall sports are uh, as far as training or, or uh, being available to do so yeah so we're we're, we're looking to 
per the guidance from the DOE and, and the ITSA, um, we're going to get back at it on, on July 6th. We've got a three-phase return um, that, that was put out by the DOE and, and the ITSA. And, um, you know, we shared that with our coaches. There were some things that we had to add and tweak just for our, um, our local um, agencies and uh, those types of things, local requirements. Um, but as far as, you know, kind of changes, um, one of the main things that we're that people are going to see uh, are, are some changes when, you know, entry into facilities. Uh, we're really going to start pushing um, digital online uh, ticket sales um, so that we're handling and, and touching as least the least amount of cash as possible. Um, so we're going to do a lot of digital sales. Um, it's going to be on the same platform as our all sports passes were last year. And so we've already kind of got a, gotten used to that platform. Um, and, and hopefully our, it's, it's easy on our, um, our fans and our community to use, um, you know, concessions, uh, you know, that's a big one. Um, we're not going to be able to offer as much out of our concession stand uh, as we used to. And so those are just a couple of the, of the, of the things that we know of um, off the top that, that are going to have to change. Um, just to keep everybody safe and, and healthier um, and limit the spread of, of this disease as we get, as we get back to um, full action. Absolutely. Well, Coach, I, I appreciate, uh, you know, your, your dedication and your passion towards what you're doing, uh, you know, not only the school corporation, but, you know, as looking back as a student, as a, as a player, an athlete, you know, sports and, and athletics really do um, help make the world go around and really do, uh, give give a kid a positive chance to make a difference and, and maybe get something in life that he may not ever get. And uh, I know you're a firm believer in that and what you guys are doing at the athletic department. Um, I'm excited to see and see the continued change. Uh, I know, you know, me, my freshman year transferring to Greenfield was the, you know, the the most awkward thing I've ever done, especially growing yep. up in the Mount Vernon side, coming to a, yep. you know, uh, a rival like Greenfield. But uh, I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made and, and put me in a situation I'm at right now. And Appreciate you, you know, being who you are and, and taking me underneath the underneath your wing when uh, when I showed up and thought I was uh, uh, the next Josh Mullins on the basketball court. <laughs> not, well, not man, I, I I appreciate the the time and the effort that you're putting in as well. I, I and I appreciate those nice comments. Um, I take those to heart for sure. Good. Well, last thing I want to ask, because uh, I know we all like to, you know, we all like food and we all like to support the local community. Um, is, there a, is there a local restaurant, um, you know, that, that if you had one meal that you had to have uh, right now, what, what would it be? Man, I tell you what, I, I, I met with uh, Dave Spencer and Elizabeth Mercer the other day. We had a, 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 a working lunch uh, and we went to Tour of Italy. Um, and I will tell you that I had Tour of Italy twice yesterday. I had it for lunch. I had it for dinner. Um, and I'm probably going to have leftovers here in a minute. Um, but they make some phenomenal food. Um, obviously, a year ago, I was traipsing around Italy. So it was, it was, uh, um, it was nice to, to have some of that uh, to go back to. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of great restaurants. We've got a lot of great business owners that uh, – that do a lot to support us. Um, and I hope I didn't get myself in trouble by picking just one. So, no, um, but right now that's the one we're, we're, uh, we're feasting on for sure. Well, are we going to, uh, we're going to see the beard come back at all in the fall? As I know that was a sight for everyone to see. Not, it's never, never seen a beard on you before. Are we going to see another one? Well, I tell you what, I, I kind of let it go a lot longer than, than I expected. Um, and yeah, it'll probably, it'll probably make an appearance again. Um, I don't know that it'll get uh, that extensive, but uh, yeah, it, it, it'll be back. That's awesome. I can't believe I even, ha I didn't even know I could grow it, you know, thanks to the quarantine. I didn't, I, didn't know <laughs> I'm in shape. I didn't even think I could. And next thing you know, it, it's I'm like, well, this actually makes me look, you know, 20 instead of 12. So I, uh, yeah, that's right. I'm that's right. It up every day and it's, it's yeah. all right. Yeah. Well, well, Coach, I'll uh, I'll let you get on your on your rest of your day. Enjoy your family. Enjoy these next couple of weeks of you know peace and quiet and, and hanging out with the family. As I know you guys are you know going on big or camping and doing all these fun things. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep making a difference. And uh, yeah, 
look forward to getting back into watching some uh, Greenfield Central sports and also all the other sports in the community in Hancock County. Um, so I guess uh, one more time, appreciate your time and efforts, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have to get you on the show next time. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll record in the uh, studio that uh, that made me uh, over at Greenfield. Sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Tell your wife and kids I said hi. We'll do, man. Keep keep doing what you're doing, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk to you soon. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to go like and subscribe uh, on YouTube. Go follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, also, don't forget uh, that we do have a new email marketing system that's going to send out weekly steals and deals for all of our local uh, restaurants and businesses. Uh, so go, go subscribe to that on www.insidehancockcounty.com. And then also for more information, details, and for all the list of the episodes, uh, you'll be able to find that there. So for the last time, thanks for tuning in for the uh, show today. Uh, always remember that you can make a difference, and we'll see you next time, Hancock County. Take care.